This year on the Stride Championship Series, we'll be featuring an all-new format with 16 of the world's best Halo Reach players duking it out for the title of 2011 Stride Champion. Our players have been split into eight teams of two and will be competing in a single elimination tournament with one 10-minute game of Team Slayer played in each round. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Stride Championship Series. I'm your host, Chris Puckett, joined in the booth by my Halo Reach commentators. We got Gandhi and Shockwave. And, guys, we have an epic matchup, possibly a finals caliber matchup here. Teammates, Ogre 2 and I Got Your Pistola are facing off against Roy and Lunchbox from Team Instinct. This one is going to be epic. Teammates forced into battle. What more could you want in a semifinals match? This is incredible. But looking at the dynamics here, you got to compare who's team with each other longer, especially in 2v2, because it all comes down to chemistry. I have to give the edge to Roy and Lunchbox. One, they're twins. Two, they've been playing with each other, and they know how to do this, especially on Zealot, where it's such a small map. Roy and Lunchbox got this. Shockwave, you agree with that? No, no. <laughs> the other team has got Pistola, who, in my mind, is the best player in this game. I mean, the kid is amazing, especially when you give him space to work with. He's going to get away every single time Roy and Lunchbox try to chase him down. And then on the other side, you've got Ogre, too. Normally thought of as a support player for his team. But in 2v2, I think his slang ability is really going to shine. All right. Well, you know, it's all going to come down to who can control the power weapons, who gets that evade, and, of course, which team has better communication. It's time to find out who will advance to our championship match as we get it started right now with Team Slayer on Zealot. All right, so here we go. We are getting it started right now. It's MLG Team Slayer, the first team to 25 kills. And we are getting this game started right now with Roy. He's on the blue squad with his twin brother, Launchbox. And I'm fascinated as that Roy did not go for the sniper off the break. We know the power weapons are extremely point important in this 2v2. So kind of a different starting strat here we're seeing out of them. Yeah, actually, no one on the team went for any of the power weapons. We actually saw one of the members of Ogre Tour Pistola go for the evade in the beginning. But it's a little interesting strategy you see here. Roy now getting control of this grenade launcher, hopefully being able to take out some kills. Right now, Roy trying to come up on I Got Your Pistola. Ogre 2 is right there with the sniper, waiting for Roy to poke around this corner. And it looks like both players just waiting for each other to walk into their reticle. Ogre 2 brought down to red health, but he's able to escape away from Lunchbox. And it looks like right now, we got the blue team with top control. And you're just seeing how they know they're just playing against their teammates. He knew what Ogre 2 was going to do because he's seen him do it in so many situations. Kind of unfair. Yeah, and I, I really wonder if that's going to come into play. I mean, they are teammates. They've definitely practiced against each other, with each other a whole lot. I feel like there's going to be a lot of issues where they're going to know exactly the moves that their teammates are about to make. Nice shots by Roy taken down. I got your pistol tying up the score at three apiece. Ogre 2 has done such a great job of staying alive, finally being cleaned up there by Roy. But he held that sniper for a good minute 30. And uh, Roy, though, Sky, he's really just been dominating with this grenade launcher and moving around the map wherever Lunchbox is calling out the opponents. He's just trapping them and just being a huge distraction. I've never seen a player willingly sit ring two and use the grenade launcher the way he's doing. Very interesting strat from Roy. We yep. got Lunchbox being taken out as well as Roy. It looks like Lunch now coming off the spawn. Roy with four kills is going to lead all players at this point. But they really need to get up top. It looks like Ogre 2 and Pistola trying to make their way through the portal. Now Pistola jumping out with that grenade launcher. We're switching our screen to Ogre 2 who has red health, no shield, and a sniper to work with. Yeah, and the sniper is going to be a huge weapon to control. But I think we've seen the teams do best controlling the grenade launcher as opposed to the sniper rifle. Ogre 2 is going to be brought down. Meanwhile, we got Pistola trying to stay alive with the evade. Can Ogre 2 help coming off this respawn? Now it's going to be two on one as he Ooh. jumps down, but he's able to finish off a kill and stay alive. Impressive shots from Ogre 2 there. He was down a shot, and somehow he was able to come up with the victory and almost gets a huge kill. But regardless, Ogre 2 playing well up to the caliber of Roy. And he just dropped two shields with that grenade launcher shot, but Pistola was nowhere near to clean up the kill. Now Pistola taking fire from Launchbox, who had that sniper. He has half health. Ogre 2 is going to be cleaned up with a nice charge from our blue team. And it looks like Roy now is going to use that sniper, while Pistola maintains control of the grenade launcher. Yeah, and it's scary for here, the red team, Roy having the sniper rifle. In my mind, Roy's the best sniper in the game. And especially when he's going to be getting time to set up some shots, 
I think we're going to see a few headshots here out of Roy. Roy, the best sniper in Halo Reach? Yeah, from what we've seen so far in the tournament, I mean, the kid is usually real good. And as I say, it misses a shot there, but going for the cleanup. Hit over two once in the body. Pistola steps in, trying to save his teammate. It's a one-on-one, -on -one and Pistola is going to win that DMR battle with the beatdown. Now he'll have that grenade launcher to work with. Roy's face of disappointment right there. But the thing is, is Roy just seems to be really anxious right now, charging his teammates. He's not really thinking about his moves, and that's what's going to happen when you're going against your friends. You're not going to take it as serious, but I think towards the end, we'll st start seeing him do the right decision. Great job by Pistola using Ogre 2 as bait, hitting Launchbox in the back with that grenade launcher, picking up the easy kill. They now lead 13-10, to 10, three kill lead here for our Red Squad. And I'm a little bit confused that charge by Lunchbox. He should have known, especially with the communication those twins usually have, that Pistola was on the spiral staircase with the grenade launcher and a sniper rifle. I'm surprised Lunchbox charged in to try to help on Ogre 2 right there. We got a pinch here. Lunchbox trying to get away, getting double teamed. Perfect execution from our red squad. And Roy is just kind of hanging out ring 2 and leaving his brother out to dry. I believe he has the sniper in his hands currently which means that he's trying to bait his brother, but he's just not getting in a good enough position. Yeah, he's got to get up top because we got I got your pistol and Ogre 2 just freely roaming around up there. They spotted Lunchbox top middle. He's trying to be bait for his twin brother who has that sniper sneaking up from the red landing. Not the best decisions right now from this Roy box squad. I, I'm kind of upset I picked him to win because Roy is just not being aggressive with the sniper. It's very, it's not a characteristic we see often from Roy. But it's all right, though. We've only gone four minutes, 40 seconds. It's only a five kill differential here. We're going to 25. Lots of time for our blue team to get their stuff together. Here's a one on one, though, between Pistola and Lunchbox is going to win that with a nice beatdown and pick up the double with the grenade launcher shot on Ogre 2. Box is helping his team get right back in this one. Yeah, right as you say that, Scott, he goes, right, Lunchbox going huge, picking up the double kill. And now we see both power weapons in the hands of Roy and Lunchbox. The thing is, is they're going to need to be close together to make sure that there's no any sneaky kills by the red team. We got Lunchbox pushing up behind Ogre 2. Ogre 2 going to be cleaned up. Nice pinch there. Going for the bank shot off the ground. That one's going to miss, but Roy is there to back him up. Pistol is taken out. Ogre 2 trying to clean up kills from the stairs, and he has a double kill opportunity here. Going for the grenade on Roy. Roy with that nice evade gets out with the sniper rifle. This is huge, but Pistol is here oh. on the ground, and there is the no scope Lunchbox helping him out to finish the kill. It's 17 to 15 with Ogre 2 and Pistol on top. Ogre 2 going for a second kill in a row here making it an 18 to 15 game absolutely ridiculous player out of Roy but Ogre 2 answers and now he has power weapon control as Pistola has the sniper they're looking they're sitting pretty yeah with both power weapons you're gonna think that they're gonna be able to run away here at the end of this game Roy box is really gonna need to pull something out here and get a clutch double kill if they want to come back 18 to 16 though just a two kill game this one could go either way Pistol was taken down, so that sniper will be down for the blue team to pick it up. Meanwhile, you got Ogre 2 using the grenade launcher, trying to force his opponents to back up in the middle while Pistol's trying to get an angle on Lunchbox, who's sitting pretty top mid. And Ogre 2 is just going to play this smart. He's done. He's been through so many 2v2s in his career that he knows if he's they have the lead, so you play it slow, they have to come to you eventually, and then he booby traps him with Pistol. Guaranteed kill. Now, Chris, at the start of this, you mentioned that Ogre 2 is the greatest player of all time in the Halo series. And a lot of people may not know this, but Ogre 2 is also regarded as one of the best 2v2 players in the world with his twin brother, Ogre 1. They did not lose a single 2v2 in any competition. Yeah, that's a huge point to make, Ogre 2. One of the most epic 2-on-2 two -two players ever. Like you said, they never lost ever in competitive play 2v2. And it's kind of funny because it was with his twin brother. So you think Roy Lunchbox, the new twins, but no Ogre 2 right here, showing his slaying ability and his dominance in the 2v2 game here with Pistola. Look at this angle. He's getting on Lunchbox. Two free shots, but Pistola is also on the ground. Neither of them have an angle to finish off the kill. Ogre 2 taking some melee damage. Roy's going to get out of there with a nice evade, but Ogre 2 somehow survives his own grenade and gets out with red health. Pistola being taken down, so it's all tied up at 18 here. Lunchbox versus Ogre 2. Launched with that evade, getting out of there, but Ogre 2 is able to sprint away and check out Launch using that evade to catch Ogre 2 off guard and take the lead 20 to 18. Launch is such the difference maker right there. I love the use of evade. It's so fun just to pick up 
You can go whichever direction you want, and Lunchbox showing how to effectively use it in this 2v2 setting. Fastest way to move around the map is with that evade. You got Lunchbox trying to stay alive, bottom middle. He's going to be cleaned up. Roy spotting two players, gets the nice quick headshot there on Pistola. They are now just four kills away from taking this one. Ogre 2 getting hit in the body. Roy looking to clean up the kill on Pistola, who he knows will be sneaking towards top gold. Yeah, awesome play by Roy right there, knowing from his teammate, from his brother's call out, that they were bottom middle and again taking Pistola out with a headshot. We're seeing the best sniper in the game go to work. Scott, I told you it's not over. Roy and Box on the return here. They're trying to finish this one strong. They're just two kills away now, and Roy is lighting things up with that sniper. Check out the angle. He's trying to line up the no scope on Ogre 2. Misses, but Lunchbox is doing heavy damage top middle. Ogre 2 being forced to back down, but Pistola is now chasing right behind Roy. Finally, the twins teamwork is finally connecting. They're communicating well, looking off each other's screen, and they're just picking them apart right now. Nice flank from Roy on Ro Ogre 2. On a spree at the end of the game. This could be the final kill on I Got Your Pistola. Lunchbox underneath them. Pistola having to play this one super careful. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Pistola dips out. Ogre 2 on the flank right behind Roy. Roy chasing down Ogre, or Pistola rather, but it looks like both players able to get away. Yeah, kind of incredible play right there. They're, they want to take it slow right now. Instinct, or the blue team, Roy and Lunch, know that they need to take it slow to win. Pistola and Ogre 2 are going to clean up that kill on Roy. They're still down three kills with just 40 seconds left in the game. Lunchbox has a grenade launcher. Hits Pistola. Can he finish it? He does. Game over. So Lunchbox is going to clutch it. Roy and Lunchbox take out their teammates, Ogre 2, and I got your Pistola. Scott. You didn't think they could come back. I didn't. I mean, I picked them to win, but when they were down six kills, I just counted them out. But, you know, it was that big push for the power weapons. We saw Lunchbox cleaning up the final kill with that grenade launcher, using it effectively. It's so, so important to control the power weapons in 2v2. Yeah, and another really interesting thing to note, we talked about it, the support players on each team going huge. You had Ogre 2 with the Ogre 2 Pistola team and Lunchbox teaming with Roy. Lunchbox going off. I mean, we saw Roy with the killing spree at the end. But Lunch, I think, was controlling for the most part of that game, especially with the evade halfway through the game, really controlling the entire map. I think he was the key player here in this match. Roy definitely earns my MVP for that match. Getting the killing spree late in the game with some of those clutch headshots. Amazing sniping we saw out of all players, but Roy really shined for me. Guys, we now will see Lunchbox and Roy advance to our championship, and they'll face off against either Flamesword and Enable or Clutch and Cloud. Hmm, good stuff. Well, guys, I think that is going to do it for us here today. For more awesome 2v2 action, make sure to check out MajorLeagueGaming.com slash stride.